this is my memoir, Ian, um, which I loved writing. Um, I think it made me appreciate the life I've had. I've done so many different things, all using exercise and dance. Yes, and it's all in the book. And it's a little bit about your time at TVAM and being a very famous person in the 1980s and obviously still well known to this day. But also it's a book which has a very serious side to it too. It does. It's a book in two halves, really, because a lot of it's about what went on at TVAM, particularly in the early days behind the scenes, which is quite interesting reading. Um, how I created the exercise slots, making hit records for people, things perhaps people had no idea that was happening at TVAM at the time. But the rest of it is very serious because it's about education. I've had the opportunity since 1970 to work in every single education sector, from nursery, primary school, secondary, pupil referral units, prisons, ex-offenders, training them how to become teachers. So the opportunity, probably through TVAM, once I had finished TVAM, because I was known as Mad Lizzie, it opened doors as well in the education sector. I don't think most people know what really goes on in a classroom. And I think most people don't know what teachers are coping with. Now I was teaching right up until COVID in classrooms, nearly all in schools in areas of deprivation. My passion has always been teaching disadvantaged children, creating opportunities using exercise and dance and drama. And there are some really successful cases and some incredibly difficult, challenging cases all in this book. I know you called it Mad About the Boys, and that's partly because you were known as Mad Lizzie on TVAM, yeah. yeah. but also because you're pretty cross and pretty angry about the fact that there are children who don't get a chance in life. There are thousands of children. The talent is there as long as we create the opportunities. And by talent, I mean giving them the basic skills so they can do things. To me, it was unbelievable in 1970 that children were going through primary school not being able to read. They were turning up in secondary school in their droves, going into remedial departments because they were unable to read. I had to get to the bottom of this, which is why in the end, I ended up teaching in the primary school sector, innovating lots of different ways to teach children at the start of their education journey, how to read, how to do basic maths. Without those basics, I was teaching them in secondary school, in, in prisons and in pupil referral units, how to do that. So you need to redress those problems at the beginning. And it's all in the book as to how I used exercise and dance to do that and had some, though I say it myself, great successes. Who do you hope is going to read this book? I hope people that were interested in me when I was on television, um, but particularly teachers in training teachers, parents. I think they need to know what can happen in a lot of schools. Um, and it's a really supportive book, I hope, of challenging children and seeing what they can achieve if, if we can get innovative ideas into schools. You said you wanted to write this book, not because you wanted to put yourself out there, but because you just wanted people to understand that message. Yes, yes. I think people just think of me as someone that went on television, kicked their legs, which is not just what I did. A lot of planning went into it. A lot of famous guests joined me. A lot of records became hits. Artists like Take That became a hit because of initially joining me on TVAM and me using their music to choreograph to. Um, but at the end of the day, to me, what's more important is my passion for teaching very, very disadvantaged children and creating opportunities, teaching them how to read even. That to me was a marvellous thing to see kids who were parents themselves unable to read. But we need to redress this. We need to redress here in 2023 what is happening to these kids, these ghost children, thousands of them not going to school. So I hope people will read that and think you can turn lives around.
Well, it's all in the book. It's a great book and it looks like a fantastic product as well. Great front cover. You've had some lovely um, quotes from, from very, very important people as well who've read it. They say wonderful things about it. Really lovely and heartwarming read, says Lorraine Kelly. I mean, that must mean a lot as well. It does. The people I work with, like Lorraine Kelly, Giles Brandreth, and of course, Sir Steve Redgrave. I taught the Great Britain Women's Rowing Squad uh, their core stability for two years. I've had amazing opportunities. Again, people wouldn't know that. So for them to write lovely things once they've read the book has been, even Timmy Mallet <laughs> with his mallet has read it. It's, it's been um, very, very heartwarming that people I have worked with throughout the years have given me such lovely credits. Brilliant. Well, good luck with it, Lizzie. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you, Ian.